Hey everybody, my name is Cassandra Ha. I'm a senior Ruby ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. Um, Jessica Heffley asked me to share just a couple of my thoughts and observations from what I've read so far in our study and I'm very excited about it. Um, my background is in mental health, relationship, addiction, um, psychology. So it's very interesting to me, the subject matter. And uh, so far it's been very confirming of what I already know about self-talk and about the power of positive thinking. Um, so I just want to uh, applaud you for um, diving into this challenge and for um, you know being willing to make some shifts in your personal life and in your business and um, I think it's great so let me just tell you a little bit uh, about what I have noticed so far um, one of the things that has stood out to me the most in what I've read is at the end of chapter four um, he says the obvious programs are those comments questions and statements which are made to us directly this is talking about negative self-talk or negative cognitions we are told by our parents and other adults what we can and cannot do. We're told what we're good at and what we are not. We're told how we look. We're told what to expect, what to believe in, how to act, and what to do or not to do. Because starting out as children, completely dependent on others, it is important to our survival to listen and to believe what others say. We learn to accept what others tell us and we learn to believe it. Um, this was so, it's just true bottom line is that's just that's how we operate that's how um, the parent child or guardian child relationship works from the very beginning um, and so one of the things that I thought of and then made the connection in chapter 5 when he's talking about um, doing the band audition and uh, the music teacher not even talking directly to him but saying he has absolutely no musical ability and his tiny little heart was so dead set on playing an instrument that was something that was going to be so important to him um, and so I wanted to challenge you guys and I've challenged myself to think of three negative cognitions that, <clears throat> that have been instilled that have been programmed into your brain from childhood um, and it doesn't have to be some big whopping thing just like the music um, thing that was that was defining in his personality and in his identity but it wasn't um, some huge traumatic experience but it can be that too um, so think of three things and uh, take your gratitude journal that you've been working on and jot those down. Um, get as detailed as you want to or just, you know, um, do a little dot line out. I don't know why that word's not coming to me right now. Um, but outline kind of thing. Just jot down a couple of things. Um, and then what I want you to do is um, is think about, uh, for me, as a, as a believer, as a Christian, my reality, my truth, is that my identity is in Christ. I'm covered in Christ's blood. So when God looks at me, he doesn't see the mistakes that I've made. He doesn't see the, you know, the sin, the dirtiness that I have or that I feel that I have all over me. He looks at me and he sees Jesus because his blood covered me and now I look like him. Um, so... I want you to write down those negative cognitions and then I want you to instill this positive cognition about um, about your identity. If you're a believer, then you look like Jesus to God and Jesus is perfect. He's compassionate. He's kind. Um, he, he always does the right thing even when we you know, have these major flubs and, and that kind of thing. When we um, focus on our negative self-talk um, about being um, for me, some of mine were uh, being unintelligent, and uh, I learned to try to compensate for that. Um, and so what I want you to do is take this scripture that I'm going to read to you, and I want you to write it on top of the negative cognitions that you've written down. Um, so the scripture is Colossians 3, 1 through 3. This is the New Living uh, Translation. Super good. Since you've been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven. The realities of heaven are perfection, glory, um, unending bliss and joy. Um, so where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand and because we look like Jesus to God, we have that sonship, that daughtership as well. We sit where Christ sits in heaven. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. The things of earth are um, death, illness, um, broken relationship, 
uh, deceitfulness, all of these things that are poisonous to who we are and that we think have identified us. Um, for you died to this life. You died to that stuff here on earth when you chose to take Christ on. And your real life is hidden with Christ and God. And they're in heaven. Heaven is perfection. So where we are hidden is with God in heaven, in, in perfection. So um, I just want you to focus on that positive um, cognition. Try to instill that. And um, I just want to... Uh, pray God's blessing over your effort to to do this to um, to try to make yourself new um, to try to truly receive what God has given you in the gift that is salvation and wholeness um, so thanks for listening for a minute 